Hello, this is Gio. Hey, look what we have here. We have a jetted spa bathtub. And it pretty much works perfectly, except it has one little issue. And this is it. This is one of the jets right here, and it's one of six. But you can kind of see it, it might be missing something. And if you look at the other jet here, you can see right here, it's kind of missing the little, uh, well, what they call an eyeball, which helps direct the water in different directions. And to be honest with you, I have no idea how this got lost. I don't know if it got popped in or broke and fell out. I really have no idea, but it's been off of this thing for a while and it still works. It'll jet out water just straight, but you can't really rotate it and it's not as a, a powerful of a jet. So I finally got tired of missing the eyeball and so I went online and finally found a replacement and this is it. I'll open up the package in a bit. Um, it also came with the shield. This is also called an Scotchin. So this is the shield to the jet. Now it also came with a little o-ring seal and a little kind of a washer thing to help the eyeball kind of swivel in. I'll show you how to install that. Now depending on your tub, uh, you, you, your jet actually may come in one piece. It may not come in two pieces. And in that case, you just remove the whole uh, part and screw it back in. But let's go ahead and uh, take this uh, shield off and replace it with the new. Now to remove the shield, it may take some strength, but I've already removed this once, so uh, it's pretty loose. But just, you know, rotate this shield counterclockwise. It has some threads and it should come off. It may take, it may get be stuck in there after years of use, but it'll eventually pop off and just kind of screw off like that. And this is, uh, I think I'll say this for another time if, if, the, uh, if another shield breaks, so I'll put that aside for now. And here you go inside the jet, you can see it kind of has a little lip and that's kind of where this little O-ring fits in. So you want to carefully stick that in, try not to get it lost in the piping there. Make sure it's in place. And then you want to put the washer in. Now this washer is, if this, uh, if this eyeball was, were just to sit on the little, this, uh, the little uh, O-ring, it would kind of stick. And so you need some kind of, of a little washer to help it slide easily. So we're gonna stick this in. So just like that. And if for some reason your little eyeballs don't rotate very smoothly, it could be because this little washer bit has worn off and, and degraded over time. And you may wanna go look for a replacement washer and then it should swivel a lot easier. And then all you have to do is go ahead and stick in your new eyeball. And actually, I do have a replacement here, but it's a little shinier than the original and I want it to match the other shields a little bit better. So I think I'll keep the old one in place. So we'll go ahead and stick that in and screw this in. Try to just hand tighten it as best you can. And there you go. It swivels pretty easily because of that nice little washer and we're all set to test her out. Okay, so we got some water in the tub and so let's test her out. And there you go. That is how you replace an eyeball and shield to a jetted spa tub. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen and even consider subscribing to my channel. I have many more videos to come. Bye-bye.